Hi guys, welcome to Salesforce Troop. In this video, we're gonna build a car color picker in LWC. So I got this idea because Salesforce launched their new app eCars in that they are using this sort of logic for picking the color for the car. So I said, okay, why not we build it in our way? So let's go to the VS Code and start building this. So I am in my VS Code. So first I need to create a component. Press Control Shift P, go to Command Palette. Select create lighting web component, give your component name car color picker. Hit enter, take the default path. Now your component is ready. So the first thing we need to do is we need a URL that can bring us the images. So I already have the URL. So I'll share with you guys this URL in the video's comment or video's description. So this is the URL Salesforce where Salesforce is hosting the cars images. So the URL is there. We need colors as well. What all colors you need. So I already explored what all colors available. So I'll create the array of the colors. So I'll say there is a red color car. There is a green color car. There is a black color car. And there is a blue color car, and there is a white color car. So I define the colors, and I have the base image URL on which the cars are deployed. Cars images are deployed. So we'll go and create a property, local property colors, and I'll map all the colors into this local property of colors. So these colors. Then we need a property selected color. So I want by default a one particular color should be selected. So we can say selected color. So it's a single color, so color. And we can choose this dot colors of zero. So it's an array. So we are picking up the first index, and first index is the red color. So the selected color by default is a red color. And then we need an image on the screen and for that we need to build a url and we want that image to be dynamic so we can use a getter here we'll say selected image so here we're gonna build our url i'll say return i'll use the back back ticks string interpolation so i'll say the url is base url as it is then after that you need slash car underscore and the color that you have selected and the extension of all the images are jpg so what we're gonna do is we know the default selected color so we'll say this dot selected color and by default it will load a base url with red color so it's it gonna give us the red color image and we want this image to be visible on the screen so let's go to our html and start designing our layout first so I want the lightning card so that at least it looks good. And lightning card takes title. I'll make the title name is car color picker. I can give the icon name as well. You can give any name. I can give standard account. It's up to you what all icon you want to give. You can play around with the styling as well. Then after that we need a image use image tag image tag source will come from our getter that we are building dynamically so selected image i'm mapping it here and i'll say alternative text that is car image and i'll set the width to the 500 pixel and i'll close this text so now our component is ready we do right click and if you don't have your this sfdx locally install so please do it because i'm not gonna deploy this into the salesforce we're gonna preview it locally so i click this button and it will ask where you want to see i don't have android emulator and ios emulator i have desktop browser i'll select this so now if you go to the browser it you will see your components locally previewed and it's showing me the 
image that I have loaded and this is red color my heading my icon so this is my card and let's increase the width little bit I'll just remove the width first I'll see how it looks like and I'll go back it will refresh automatically so this is a local development server for LWC so it's looking pretty good but I want the image to be smaller only it's too big we can say width 700 pixel and let's go back quickly and see how it looks now it's looking far better okay now we have the card I want the colors dots here by which on over or on click of those dots or the color selection the image should flip based on the color okay so to do that we'll go back to our vs code and create first css file we'll say star color picker dot css and make sure the name is similar as your component name only the extension will change so css file we are creating because we're going to use the css and in this case first i'll come back to the card and i want this uh, little dots or the color dot should be in the footer so i'll say p i will use the slot footer so if you don't know the slots just watch my video and slot will create a footer in the lightning card so footer will place under the bottom of the card and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop our colors and first we need to make some dots design so what we're gonna do is we'll create a span we'll say we're gonna use a span tag and it's an element i'm applying the css directly on the element so i'll say height 25 pixel I want width 25 pixel I want border radius because we want it to be of round around shape to be 50% then we need margin so that our multiple round shapes not touch each other so I'll say 10 pixel and I'll say display in inline block if you give inline block then only you will able to apply your margin around or you can apply height and width otherwise it's by default inline so this is looking good and what i can do apart from this i can say on hover of this pen i want a finger icon so i'll say span colon hover give me the cursor that is pointer so pointer is the cursor type that show you a finger on hover and let's go back to our html and i will create some span and see and visualize this let's add a background color as well bd or bbb any any color is fine and let's go to the html and place our Span multiple times and let's see how it looks like on the screen. So it's refreshing the component. Now you see we have the different types of dots, but all are of same color right now. And on hover, you can see the finger icon coming that is the cursor pointer. Right, so let's go and add some colors. So I want that color to be of name as i already have the name of my color so i'll create the classes red green black blue and white i'll say red color my background and here i'm not giving the dark red or directly a red color because the if you look at our color shape or the color design the color is of like different shade of red so i already have the linear gradient i'll share you with you the code as well so you don't worry i'll just paste the co uh, color codes or the classes directly so i created some color or some classes red 
white, black, green, blue. These are the class names similar as the colors that are available. And I have used a linear gradients. Linear gradient are used to give the different shades of color. So now we have added this color. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some classes. So instead of repeating the span and again and again, what we can do is we can run the loop. And to run the loop, we need a template tag. Then we need a directive for each. And on what you're gonna run the loop, we're gonna run the loop on our colors. I'll say run the loop on the colors. Each item in the color, I'll call it as color. And within this, we're gonna use our span. And on the span, first thing you need to make sure key key is there because loop will throw an error. Key is an important attribute inside the forage. So I'll say color is always unique. So let's key are unique. And then I want the class to be color. So what will happen here is as the red color comes, we already have a red class. White color comes, white class. That's why I have given the same name. And now let's go and see how it looks. Now you can see we have the red shade, green shade, black shade, blue shade, and white shade. But the problem here is on click of this, nothing is happening. So on click of this, we have to update the image as well. So let's go back to the code. And here I'm gonna use a trick. I'm gonna add a data attribute. So data attribute is used to store some data in the HTML. I'll say data color and I'll store the color here in the each span. And I'm gonna add a click handler to the span. I'll say on click of your circles call selected handler. And in the JS, what we're gonna do, we're gonna say selected handler. It will receive an event because it's coming from the HTML and we'll say this dot selected color. We are updating the property because initialized we initialized this property with the first color that was red, but now whatever the user select that color we're gonna apply. So we'll say even dot target dot data set dot color. So data set is the API given by HTML to fetch these sort of attributes, data hyphen colors. So we are saying data set dot color. So let's go to our output and let's see if it's working. It's working fine. It's taking time because it's a server call. So we are fetching actually the image from the server. If I click on the blue color, it's hitting the blue color. If I am hitting a white color, it's hitting the white color. We have seen how easy it is to build this app or the small portion of the component i would say a color car color picker and you can build any other things as well if you have a bike or you have a clothes and this is how actually it works in real time of your shopping carts as well like when you go for the shopping and you look into the different t-shirt colors or different jeans colors so this is how it works so that's it for the today's video and if you guys like it please do like share and subscribe and i'll share you the code in the comment or the video description and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment thanks guys have a great day